My name is Russ Cook and I'm attempting to become the first person ever to run the entire length of Africa. This is where I started, this is where I'm going and this is where I am now. I've run 3,967 kilometres so far and I've got 11,033 kilometres left to go. In this episode, I battle deadly flies, <laughs> run out of water That's fun. Yeah. and stand bites off more than he can chew as he challenges me to run a marathon. I'm sorry, what, what did you just say? I'll get my leg up there. Do it. Oh, nah. Do it, Russ. <laughs> but will I f stab the hamster? <laughs> 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 Deep breaths. <laughs> What's going on there, Russ? It's struggling. Oh. <laughs> Can you touch your toes? Can I? <laughs> nah. Bismal performance. Oh, I can just get there and then I can't hold it there though. Oh, I see the Hulk is back out. The Hulk is back out, yeah, yeah. What's happened this morning? We went to the petrol station and that took a while, didn't it? Yeah. And Jared fails to be It's this whole operation just runs on hopes and dreams anyway. Collect hopes and dreams from the sky. There you go. We had finally entered Tootsie Fly territory, a biting insect which carries sleeping sickness, a deadly disease. It was vital for us to prepare. What do we see if we see a fly with a long nose? Threes and fours. In Show us your threes and fours fly, fly tactic. So we're taking a little triple jog. Grab. We go with a triple grab. Yeah? Oh, 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 oh. Look at that weave, I'm like Mike Tyson with the peekaboo. With the peekaboo. And then the fly just. <laughs> Start ferocious with the headbutt, and you just like people are like, Oh, this guy's a psychopath. It sets the tone immediately. Yeah, it goes, I am on pure crud right now <laughs> from the start. Okay, now that we firmly know how we're gonna fight flies, <laughs> okay, bang bang. Whoa, huge <laughs> flag. Another day where it says today's suggestion rest. And what did you say your score was out of 100 five. this morning? <laughs> five, my readiness score out of 100 is five. I woke up, I saw five, I went, look, we're going to make that five work really hard today. Yeah, we're exactly. Get maximum out of that five. <laughs> Time to run. Right. Bye bye. <laughs> Don't get killed by flies. He's dead. He's done for. Oh, uh, he's going to die. Does that mean we get to go home at Fortunately, Tootsie flies were no match for my vicious threes and fours, and I ducked and weaved and jabbed my way through a lot of them. Unfortunately, my mad combat skills were tiring. You seem a bit knackered. Yeah. How far did you go? 24k. Give that a good chew. This is quite, quite uncomfortable to watch, I can't lie. Please don't cut your tongue. Oh, you make me so nervous. Oh, my tooth is actually bad right now. Oh, yeah. Is it? Is it painful? Yeah. It's getting there. So what's it done? Just split in half? Yeah. That's lacquer. <laughs> <laughs> of all the things to break off, I thought it'd be a toast first, if not mine. Can you pass me some sweeties out of that? Out of the magic? Yeah, that that seems like the perfect thing to say after your tooth is broken. Look how f***ing eager you are, you're literally on the edge Bruh. of your seat. It's okay, more will come, bruh. More will come. <laughs> Do I look like a child? <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Get me a proper bit of sweeties. A proper bit of sweeties. Alright, that was, that's a good start. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll settle. Is that enough? Jesus. If that was one like form of exercise that you wish you could be doing right now that isn't running but you just don't have the energy for it bicep curls is it or bench press man just become a rake instead <laughs> stand make rest into a rake he's a rake <laughs> bang 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 oh, okay <laughs> <Fair enough. laughs> Police think we're complete twits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mum. <laughs> As I pushed on for the second half, the hills became bigger and jungle denser. The boys went ahead to the next town where they found us a new hotel, which luckily sat exactly where I'd stopped running for the day. The restaurant was still being built, but the owner offered to cook us a meal and we sat together reflecting on the country we'd almost reached the end of. Russ, welcome home. What the fuck was that? Where are we, boys? We're in Angola. Yeah. Wow, we're in Tomboko, <laughs> in the province of Zaire. Harry, do you want to tell Stan about the video that you got sent earlier? 
Oh, shit. Okay, yeah. Um, our friend who uh, had a good time with us, the Fed from Unzetto, he sent me a nice video, um, and by nice I mean absolutely terrifying, of some vigilante justice in a favela in Luanda of two blokes getting brutally murdered in broad daylight by a group of like 50 people. No, you don't want to see it, it's really great. I've not watched, watched in, it, I don't want to see it. The policeman sent it to me, he said, Luanda is burning, my friend. This is the reality of our country, stay safe. Um, which, you know, vigilante justice occurs everywhere, but it is a, a reminder from a member of the a public servant who's here to keep us safe that, you know, sh is pretty hairy out here. Doesn't mean that that's uh, a symbol of national justice. Also doesn't mean that it doesn't not happen. So, but you could see the same video in the Congo, in Kenya, in Burundi. Yeah. I've seen the videos in Mexico, it's the same shit, cartel violence. Mm. We've spoken a lot recently about how there's a lot of responsibility which we're not necessarily equipped to deal with on how we present these countries. You can't admit all of the bad things. You know, it's like, you, you know, it might be a beautiful country with beautiful people, but you can't admit the suffering. You can't admit and leave out all of the bad shit just because you don't want to say anything bad. Yeah. Um, but also, similarly, we can't focus on only the bad things. Any more slightly optimistic notes for you to end on? Um, I had some chicken and rice for dinner. It was back, back. Yeah? Yeah. The next day was a logistical nightmare. All of the cash machines in the town were out of service, so the boys had to drive Nelly all the way to our previous town to be able to pay for the hotel. This meant I was left on my ones for four hours, and in the blistering heat of the Angolan sun, I ran out of water. Wow, we what a day. Wow, we, wow, we, Just got an initial little status check. Just want to check you were okay. You look like. You've just run 100k. Obviously, we've had some logistical issues today. Yeah, did the first four hours, but I ran out of water after two, so I was pretty fucked. That's fun. Yeah. The hair is getting uh, long, hair. It's getting well long, man. You're starting to look like that guy from the in between us. Jay. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, you are looking a bit like Jay or something. <laughs> Can't know. What, would, what do you think Jay would say about today? Jay would say, I just ran 800 miles, shagged. 18 birds and beat up four crocodiles. Maybe a bit more excited than that though. <laughs> We're like a deep rural angle. Yeah. It really does feel like we're in the middle of the jungle. It's funny as well because you don't hit like proper, proper thick rainforests for a, a good while now. It's yeah. like another thousand Ks. How many days is a thousand Ks? If it's 50k a day, then it's 20 days. When you put it like that, running a thousand Ks doesn't sound that hard. No, it's just a couple of weeks, isn't oh, it? And you do it, lad. I was thinking I should join you for a marathon. I think it'd be funny content. I, would, oh, I fail if I drop pace. I reckon I'd humble you. Do you sure. reckon you'd do it? I reckon, I'd, I, reckon I might. It, maybe. No, I, don't, I don't think you've got a chance, lad. I don't think you have a chance. I don't think you even got a sniff. This I'd actually even, be impressed if you made it halfway. Yeah, this isn't even an underdog story. It's just like useless. We'll do it tomorrow, lad. Maybe Tell, tomorrow. <laughs> Tell me why not. Yeah, right. Okay. right. I'm going to whack a pace on tomorrow as well. <laughs> I acknowledge though that my chances are very slim. If I stop and can count one full minute before you get to me, I think that's then, fair. then yeah. you've been too far behind. Just do it. Might feel different in the morning, but here I am. I'm holding the camera, so. Yeah, put a bet on it to, for it to taste it live enough a bit. If you complete a marathon, I don't eat any chocolate for a week. And if you don't, then you don't eat any chocolate for a week. Yes. All right. So whoever whoever wins that gets that more week, chocolate. That was a week, I'm saying, bro. So yeah. you are guaranteeing you are giving up chocolate for a week. Jared, it's probably good for me. Stan's fate was sealed. At this point, there was only 20K left to run, which I smashed out with the last of my stamina. By the time I finished, it was already dark. Hi, Russ. Hello. How are you? I'm all right, mate. 53K today. Mm, good job. Getting there. So we're ready to go back to our place for the evening now. We've got a friend over here. We've got an officer with us as well. Well, yeah, good evening, good day. It's a lot of hills today, hey? Right, big hills. Okay, yeah, sure, mate. Do you think Stan's going to survive in this tomorrow? I'm actually really looking forward to delivering a nice, fresh slice of humble pie to Mr. Stanley Gansky. <laughs> the trouble is, is, he's the editor, so he's, he can he can edit this however he wants. Yeah. But if he's really about it, he'll cut from right here to tomorrow when he's gasping. So um, I'm wearing the Crocs today. 
Which means that they're missing their village idiot. Here he is. Uh, I just talked myself into running a marathon, didn't I? Or trying to, I probably won't. <laughs> no, I've got to keep pace. That's the job. That's the job. If Russ has to stop and he can count to a minute, then Stan's uh, minute. failed. This is going to be intriguing. I will warn you, I'm not much of a talker. No, oh, that's cool. I don't want to talk anyway. Great. I love that. <laughs> Have you got a bag? No. You got a bag? No. A bit right. Famous <laughs> last words. What do I need a bag for? <laughs> what do you I need a bag for? <laughs> I might just let you see what you need a bag for. Then. Water? Yeah. No, I'll just have a little sip. I told all the fed about your challenge today and yeah. the stakes. They can't wait to see what happens. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh. yeah. Do you think they're taking bets? I so, put a hundred quads on the skinny boy. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Also, Russ has raised the stakes slightly, and he said that if Stan gets to halfway with him, what happens? I'll let him. I'll let him use a pair of my shoes. Because yeah, what are you so running in, Stan? I mean, and I don't uh, even know I'll what. You, have you had a perfect head yet? No, no, I haven't. Uh, if you get to halfway, I'll let you have a perfect head. Oof, big, big talk. You're looking fresh, bro. Yes, bro. I woke up this morning to Stan's leg coming out of the bed with running tights on. That's the first thing I saw. It was interesting. <laughs> Stan, all you have to do, I'll carry 200 ml of water for you. All you've got to do is say, Russ, you are so big and strong. You're such an inspiration to me. Please, can you carry 200 ml of water for me? No, but I've got a, bo I've got a pocket for it. So right. need... Fine. Huh. So can I borrow a bottle, though? Mr. <laughs> Russ, you're so big and strong. He's <laughs> so big and strong, and I really respect you. Can I have a bottle? Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. The, see, the difference between me and Russ is I piss once every few hours and he pisses once every f***ing two minutes. If you want any water off me at some point, all you got to do is ask that, ask the big question on camera. Okay. But you have to record it. Yeah, I do. Do you want to know what I've got in my kit? What? I've got my phone, headphones, water bottle, 200ml, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's all you need, famously, and my inhaler. Long end. Shut <laughs> Oh, you're getting that high one, yeah, I'm just gonna do anything Russ does, but better. <laughs> Hold on, let's get Stan in a bucket hat. Hold up. Just wanna remind you what you're working for. Oh, what's he doing now? This is a joke to you, Stan. Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready to go, yeah? Do I look like a mug? Yes. Any final thoughts? <laughs> I look like a mug. And I'm gonna look like more of a mug in about 10 minutes. All right. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. Go Stan! <laughs> Gallus and Harrimal, can we get a quick interview? What do you think is going to happen? Um, I reckon Stan will do about 12 kilometers. So you don't think you'll make the 42? No. You don't think you'll make a half? Not at the same pace, man. If the, like, honestly, this is the whole point. That's why I said it's, stupid. it's a stupid bet. If he was just, the, the bet was just to finish the marathon. Yeah. He can do it. He's got the mental toughness and fortitude. Mm. But the reality of it is, he's doing it at the same speed as him. Not bad. Mm -hmm. I powered forward at full pace over the hills, stand close by, he was keeping up my pace, but not with my style. We began rolling through the kilometers. 1k, 5k, 10k. Wait, where's Stan gone? I'm a weasel. How many k's have you done? Four and a half. Problem is you set yourself a pace challenge and not yeah. a distance challenge. This is it, like this is why I underestimate it completely and I realise this makes me look terrible because I thought like everyone else that Russ was going f***ing slowly, but he's not. His like average pace is faster than my 10k pace. It's insane. You wanna get in? Yeah. You got that ass, Ma! I'm not bad ass today. I also started smoking with this machine. And that's bad for you. However, I actually backed myself for that challenge before this whole mission started. But 90 days of sitting down. That was f***ing just embarrassing, really. I guarantee you, you've got the mental fortune and toughness. If you said, oh, I'm going to run a marathon today, no matter how long it takes me, oh, you do it. Yeah, I backed that, but mate, his pace is f***ing lightning. You can't even tell until you're trying to run him. Yeah. Obviously, all the, all the confidence this morning was f f funny, fake confidence, but I did believe I could do better than that. I was hoping I could reach 20 at least. But up until the start of this mission, I could back my like general level of fitness because most of my work's physical. But, uh, <laughs> what a loser. After all that chat, Stanley, what happened? Just fucking couldn't hack it at <laughs> all. Mate, you're fast. You're so fast. I had no appreciation for how fast you are. Yeah. What's that? Russ is actually good at his job. Who would have thought it? Why? Oh, like, you're going to enjoy a little chucky bar, bro. Yeah, you fucking <laughs> <bet I am. laughs> It's embarrassing, but like... 
Mate, you, you can't it, expect to challenge me in that way and for me to not drop some f***ing humble spice on you, boy. Yeah. Yeah. I just sucked a couple of afterburners on. I thought, hey, bit of downhill, Stanley. Let's see how he rolls with this. <laughs> you banging, you bang banging, or are you bang bang banging? Uh, I don't even know what that means. Bang bang. While Stan sat in a pit of shame, I continued on for another 20k, blasting down long straight roads. It was a hot day, but I was grateful that the hills were finally subsided. Shall I do that again without laughing? Or no? Today, yeah. we're following Russ with no police escort, because we have the police escort in our car. <laughs> Los amigos, happy. 2k off my marrow, feeling a bit fruity, mate. <laughs> yeah, I will have some chocolate. Cheers, mate. You're, oh, sorry. Bruce. How's the run been? Have you been okay without me? Just about managed without you, mate. I just thought, not in terms of like performance, obviously, because I'm shit running apparently, but moral support, you know. Yeah, that 15 minutes of just hearing you heavily breathe in the background was really comforting. For me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet. And then have to stop for an asthma pump. <laughs> the asthma pump really makes the story a lot better. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> what? Shoot him getting his asthma pump. No. Do you want me to recreate it now? Yeah. Mike? Step out, sir. Someone give this man an Oscar. And then I just had a piss. Yeah. I think we need to I didn't claim that I was doing. You did. No, I didn't. You, you did. No, I didn't. I just no, said, I, just said I want to try. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm not letting you back out. No. No, 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 no. I'm claiming now that I never said it. I'm going to go through the footage, and if I find it, I'll put it here. And that's the promise. That's Where will you put it? Here. Here. Yeah. yeah. With audio. Oh, look. There's no footage in my hand, because it didn't happen. We'll get you running a marathon at some point, Sam. Yeah. I'll work on it, boss. Yeah. If not... You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> You're fired. I might run a bit faster if that was the <laughs> Nice little village, this, isn't it? Yeah, nice seats. He loves just fing running off before you're ready, doesn't he? He's like, okay, I'm off now, bye. In the last leg, I ran through a long cluster of smaller villages as the terrain got more jungly again. Powered on as the sun set, taking in the landscape and the views. What's going on? I'm taking my shoes off. Why are you doing? Why are you doing that? Everyone's favourite part of the day. They no. get to sit on my feet. Please. <laughs> I'm begging, begging you. Please don't take your shoes off, Russell. Oh Ooh. no. Oh yeah, they are soaking wet today. Mate, we got that lovely combination of boiling hot and humid. Happy with your mileage? Mate, I am, to be fair, because I'm going to bang 100k on Sunday, so... So we're going to head to the next town? Yes, yes. Capital of the Congo Empire? Yes. Mate, there's so many stats on this thing, it's crazy, bruv. <laughs> that watch has provided you with so much excitement. I just don't understand how they can... There's this much technology in a watch, mate. Technology, mate, innit? Crazy. Are you feeling ready for 100k? That's ready, lad. How ready is that? Ready enough. Good chat. Roy, should we head back to the hotel then? Yes, yes. Let's go. Morning, 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 morning. Hello, Gunnar. Hello. Hello. How far are you going to run today? I'm not. I'm ill. My voice doesn't even work. You've got a translator who can't speak. <laughs> I reckon the next bet should be whether one of the boys can better your effort. Nine nah, could probably run 3.7k. <laughs> nah, I mate, it was 4.7k. I'll race you, Nan. My well, Nan hates running. I can't remember what she said about exercise once, but it was something like, I don't know, she just like viciously hates exercise. Wisdom passed down through the generations yeah, that. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hold well on. <laughs> I'm not sure if I started right here or it was more like there. <clears throat> so I'm just going to. No cheating out here, boys. <laughs> oh, I didn't meet your phones. Oh, fucking hell. Anything else you need? You got your phone? Whoa, oh, f me. He's unstoppable. You got everything? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I ain't got my bucket out. You prob uh -huh. probably need that. Do you know what? Some people can't be out, and that's just how life works. Hatless, I banged on up the road with my motorbike entourage. 
The string of villages continued, and luckily the sun stayed away from our unprotected head. The prodigal son returns. He is finally here. The tapestry can be completed. <laughs> Hello. Was that some bread I've just that, that do be some bread though. What do you think of the bread in Angola? Bread in, bread in Angola is a stark contrast to all the other food in Angola. Yeah. Dig in, enjoy. How long are you going to be? Take a little 30 Hour. minutes? I think I pissed the guy off this morning. Why? Mate, we're out here in the middle of like, it's rural still, yeah? We're going for yeah. little villages every 5k or so. Yeah. But he's just banging his siren on the whole time. And I was like, geez, you're driving, you're doing my nutting. So I just said to him like, mate, siren. And then he like, like glanced really hard at me and then turned it off and I was like, oh. Like, Mate, listening to a siren yeah, for like an hour straight is jarring. Even when we sit in the car behind you and I... <laughs> How did you just put that piece of cheese? Yeah. <laughs> you can't do shit like that when I'm looking you in the eyes. <laughs> you just bent it over on the top and then shoved it. <laughs> Efficient. <laughs> I just want people to see how you get in and out your bed. A bang bang, a skit skit. Skit skit. Bye bye. Bye bye. Enjoy. As I continued on, we hit the town of Mbazi, Congo. This was a beautiful, albeit busy and crowded town that would be our home for the next couple of days. I ran through the chaos of the hustle and bustle until the sun was too low to continue. Hello. Alright bro. Welcome, welcome, welcome. A lot of elevation, 600 meters today. Jesus. Mate, I mean, to be fair, these hills are crazy. What did you think of Mbaza Congo once you finally got on track? Lively, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. In a good way, though, I thought. Oh, I don't know. I was going to film a daily update, and then I was like, even with Fed here, I don't know about getting my phone out, honestly. Yeah. For large parts, people are friendly. Like, it's just like, you know, you wave to someone and maybe seven out of ten times you get a wave back yeah and then three of them are like a scowl the thing is those people are going to give you daggers either way and at least you're being friendly yeah in the next episode we finally cross into the drc encounter friends and foes as i prepare for my 100k day <laughs>